So I got an internship. It's fully remote at $15 an hour and I'm gonna be doing it 40 hours a week. $15 an hour isn't a whole lot of money. I think I might need to hold off on the Lamborghini, but I'm doing this mostly for experience. Uh, they're gonna have me sign a six month contract so that I don't leave, which Pop said is somewhat of a good sign. It shows that they know I, they're afraid of me leaving and getting a higher paying job. So that shows that I, I might be able to. So basically my mentor got me the job. Another student was looking for an intern and my mentor sent me the application. I sent uh, the guy looking for an intern, my resume with a cover letter. We did an interview the next day. It was a pretty chill interview. Not a whole lot of technical questions. There was one about DNS, DHCP. We did a second interview, a follow-up interview the next day. They said, I practically have the job. They'll talk internally, but he sees no reason why they wouldn't hire me. We'll be starting August 1st. So I hope to still do college full time, maybe do college from six to 12 and then work from 12 to eight. It's remote work, it's not that hard. I should be able to do it all day, unless I'm a sissy, which I might be. My father went to nursing school full time and worked third shift while living off grid. I think I should be able to go to school full time and work a remote job. Uh, so for the update on the college, I passed my test just barely. My, my cybersecurity data forensics test, I passed that. So I've got two papers to go. I'm really going slow on this one paper. I got, I got two papers to do. Stay encouraged, you never know when you might get a job. I didn't apply for the job and it just kind of fell on my lap. So you never know uh, when, when something good might happen or something bad. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share this with your friends if you have any. And don't let the wolves eat you.